Okay, so sticking with the same theme as last time, the intro will just be nice and quick. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it and we'll get right into the build. And then we'll come back here and we'll kind of talk about what's changed and all about the speaker. So yeah, I'll cut to a time lapse of me building and we'll be back here. So, yeah. Our speakers are now built. Um, I want to talk a little bit about them and as the last video about like this one will be, I'll put chapters in the video down below here for you guys to scroll through. If you don't want to hear about this, if you just want to see things happening, that's fine. Um, it seemed to be something that everyone liked. So that's kind of what we'll do from here on forward. So this speakers this time, um, they're the same as version sixes except we did a couple different things with voice coils and we changed the surround material. So first thing up, we have, um, this is our standard, the four ohm standard like we did on all the other version sixes. So the only change made here is the actual voice coil or the surround, not the voice coil. And I used a special kind of filament called a porolay or porolay foam or something like that. And it has a very foam-like substance that has microscopic um, PVA bubbles inside of it. And you put the filament inside of water for three to four days and it's supposed to dissolve all the PVA. Unfortunately, I don't think that it actually does that as this stuff is now hard as a rock. Um, this is about a week later after building and they are hard as a rock. But when it did come out of the water, they were really, really soft, like 40A on the TPU kind of soft, like 
Shore Hardness 40A kind of soft, soft. Um, so yeah, and then we had this guy, which is a dual voice coil. So it's the first dual voice coil speaker I've ever built. I don't know exactly how a dual voice coil is supposed to work in like a store-bought speaker. The way I did this one is I wrapped the voice coil and then that's voice coil one. And then the second voice coil was just wrapped right over the top of the second one. I don't know if that's right, wrong. Um, if you know, please let me know down below. That would be awesome. But this one did seem to have some improved characteristics. And then I also did uh, an eight ohm voice coil one to kind of see what would happen with an eight ohm voice coil versus the four ohm voice coil to see if that power loss was really noticeable or anything like that or just the extra weight of the speakers did anything or the extra weight on the speaker with the wire did anything so yeah we will get to the results now and yeah hopefully you guys like that we'll be listening to it and yeah So quick overview here, um, the green one is the 4 ohm, red one is the dual voice coil, and the blue one is the 8 ohm. And just, it, it's weird to me how there's a peak right there around the 28 hertz on the 8 ohm. It's kind of shocking that it had anywhere where it performed better than the other speakers. And then it also is weird to me how the dual voice coil actually was worse performing up until almost 500 hertz. It has actually more area underneath the curve after 500 hertz than the other speakers. So that's just kind of some observations that I've made so far. Alright, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video thus far. Um, if there's anything I can do to make this experience better, please, by all means, let me know. Um, yeah, so until next time, guys. Have a good one.